good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Tima story time music so guys I was on the internet when I got a notification sound sound effect please and the brother sent me this theme music the sisters have made a petition to remove Kevin Samuels from YouTube and IG lol can I get a Da, 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 sound effect. Now, usually I wouldn't do like a video on something like this. Like some of you guys have shared me, you know, certain dudes that have mentioned Kevin Samuels and, um, you know, out of respect for him, for certain content creators. Um, if you're not like really big, like Umar Johnson, I won't even do it. But for something like this, this is actually pretty funny. And you see, this is like a signature that they've almost completed. It's not gonna do anything, but pretty much, you know, the, the person that created this um, is a struggling YouTuber, and so she can't get any views, which is um, not uncommon because a lot of people who can't get any views and, and make any money on here, they start getting mad at other YouTubers. I mean, there's guys that's mad at me all the time um, that I never respond to, and there's guys who's mad at Kevin Samuels all the time that he never responds to. But the person that that makes this is alleging that you know that that because of Kevin Samuel's content there is uh, increasing violence occurring against black women in America which is which is so which is so stupid because that has nothing to do with Kevin Samuels and there's no data in which you can improve that okay uh, and they're saying that because Kevin Samuels is online you know there's men that have issues now with black women and and they're you know talking out more about black women and it's his fault the reality is this is the second time that this has kind of tried to happen and kevin's going through the fire right now uh we had our version of the hit list that happened to us in 2017. the second person on the list was me o'shea duke jackson and the first was obsidian uh so we even beat guys like tommy sotomayor on that hit list um, and that's been happening, these change.org or whatever these stupid petitions are, you know, they do it against everybody. Tommy's got one, you know, everybody that they don't like a change.org. The reality is Kevin Samuels has not broken any YouTube guidelines or Instagram guidelines or anything else. All right. He has uh, a million subscribers on YouTube, almost a million on Instagram. He follows the guidelines completely. The reality is, is that some people are unaccountable in the community as to how certain people see them. And let me tell you this, black men have an issue with stereotypes that are negative connotations. And I'm going to tell you, want to know who, you know, whose fault that is? It's us. Okay. To a certain degree, we got to take that on the nose because of some, some of the things that are negative stereotypes about black men, we see it. Black men themselves will see it. Some of the people who will agree to some of the stereotypes about us that can be true are us. We know that they're true. Why? Because we know our people. Okay. So we talk about certain brothers, you know, uh, you know, being lazy, certain brothers not wanting to do this, certain brothers not want to do that. We, we won't deny it. We, we definitely have elements of that in our community. But when, when sisters have these same elements that Kevin Samuels has been calling out, they want to blame other people for, you know, well, you know, other guys uh, are being influenced by his narrative and it's because of him. No. In 2017, before Kevin Samuels came over to the uh, this community, which is known as the black manosphere, the reality is we were talking about that in 2017. But let me even talk about this. 2015, we were talking about it. But let me even take it back in the 1950s. Black men were saying the same things about sisters they're seeing today. Let's take it back further than that. Black men probably in the days of slavery were complaining about the same issues that we're talking about today. Let me, let us just dial it back. Black men in Africa, okay? And whatever the local language was, whatever their complaints about sisters are the same today. Let me take it even back. I was in Uganda, which has nothing to do with black America, but it's so similar. Those guys are saying the same thing that in another country about sisters that we talk about today. I, well, let me take it a step back. Can I get a dun, dun, dun sound effect? I had a show called The Bruvcast with me, King Riches, um, you know, Falcon Black, 
They're in the UK. It has nothing to do with America. Guess what? 100% of the things that we're saying about sisters in America, they're saying about sisters in the UK. So what am I trying to say? How can you, how can you blame Kevin Samuels? Huh? How can you? Kevin Samuels, this conversation was happening. If you won't even talk about then, well, it was, you know, Tommy Sotomayor or whoever else, whoever else before that, bro, the guy's been talking about this, okay? Been talking about it for years, all right? Years. And the reality is, is that there's truth to certain things and characteristics about people in our community that are true. The, the question is, you don't want to change those things that brothers are talking about, okay? Where there is, well, we don't feel that you are, um, you're, you know, you, 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 you want to be submissive enough to your man. You know, you feel that you have this particular problem with your man and you don't want to change that. You think you're better than your man. That has nothing to do with Kevin Samuels content. I'm going to tell you the reason why y'all are doing this are trying to do this is because number one, you're not successful on the YouTube platform. He is. If he would have you on his show, you would definitely want to be on there. And it's not going to go anywhere, but this is what haters would do. I, I want guys to see how successful this man has become because when he had a hundred thousand subscribers and he was still getting four and five and six thousand people in the chat, nobody cared. But look, now he's getting success. Here come all the people who are probably YouTubers on the platform because he used to get hatred from people who used to be cool with. And they're not going to bring any of this stuff down because he hasn't broken any rules. And if they did, he would be back tomorrow with the same amount of, 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 of subscribers within uh, three or four months. Okay. Y'all don't go and try to bring down the rap guys who call y'all B's and, and H's and, and rap music songs, do you? No, you don't go and talk about, you know, Tyler Perry and, you know, who makes y'all look like, you know, the mad black woman in his movies, do you? No, you don't go to these reality shows, Love and Hip Hop, who try to make y'all look like caricatures in videos, in, in movies and stuff, do y'all? No, but it's because this man is raising standards for black men that have money, the minute just say that y'all want, now all of a sudden let's get a, or let's just put this petition out. And it's gonna fail. It's gonna fall on deaf ears because the brother is actually doing a really great job. He is bringing black people together more so than anybody that I know. He's doing a better job than the black, the pro black community. He's doing better than the whole tip community. There's nobody bringing big money people together than Kevin Samuels on, on, on the black internet. He's helping people, okay? I know he is. He's the man has a genuine heart. He cares for our, he cares for about our community. He cares about our people. And not only does he care about the men in our community, he cares about the women in our community too. But just because it's not the same kiss ass stuff that you want to hear, now you're mad. You you you, you struggle weavers and sandalers in in, in 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 dust buckets. Some of you guys are men. A lot of you are men that are haters too. It won't work. You're still gonna be broke. You're still gonna be point, a, a punch in the air, like Cuba Gooden did in Boys in the Hood. <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to um, to broke people. But, and guess who's mad? You. Well, guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell, check out the first company at the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, <coughs> the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.